Gas masks are still used today in the military and are now used for other jobs like construction when poisonous fumes are present. Gas masks today have adjustable straps that make the mask secure. It's connected to a filter near the mouth or hose. Some forms of gas masks were present before World War I. In the 9th century, a couple of brothers in Baghdad invented a simpler version of the gas mask, which protected workers and polluted walls. In 1823, the Dean brothers made a respirator that protected firemen from smoke, which was later changed to be used for underwater divers. Before the gas mask, the soldiers were given only cotton pads that were dipped in solutions and then held over the face. The soldiers were also advised to urinate onto the cloths and hold it over the face in case of an emergency. One of the first British gas masks was the British Hypo Helmet, which was just a crude mask that was dipped in anti-gas chemicals. Although it wasn't much, it let the soldiers know that people were trying to help them and weren't just going to let them die from the gas. Later, gas masks were connected to tubes with a canister at the end. German soldiers first used poison gas to attack the French in Ypres in April 22, 1915. As you could have guessed, gas masks were used soon after the poison gas. The British Army used the first basic kinds of gas masks. Gas masks were carried in the front and used whenever the enemy sent over gas. They were used in both sides of the war. Although some primitive forms of gas masks had existed before, James Burt Gardner invented the first gas mask that was used in the Western Front later in 1915. His idea to add activated charcoal to fabricate gas masks saved many lives. However, some argue that Edward Frank Harrison, a British chemical scientist, was the man who made the first serviceable gas mask during World War I. In my opinion, the construction of the gas mask was inevitable after the use of poison gas in warfare began. Although uncomfortable, the gas mask proved useful during gas attacks. Alterations were made to the gas mask to improve it throughout the war, making gas attacks less effective. After the invention of gas masks, gas didn't do much damage to the troops, however it still hurt the animals. In an attempt to save the horses, gas masks were designed for them, but did not fit well and the horses would die.